Hello, this is Alexi and this is a Kipi tutorial. I will show you how to use the Kipi demo account. Let's go to a browser window. Kipi supports both Mozilla Firefox and Chrome browser. Let's type kipi.com and go to the Kipi front page. Find uh, the live demo link, click on that. Now we're getting to the Kipi demo account. And the first thing you will see a prompt message to install the Kipi plugin. Click on proceed and then add. And the Kipi plugin has been installed already. So you can keep going. This is the uh, navigation menu. Everything means uh, all Kipis uh, published by Kipi users on the Kipi wall. My Kipi, it's all your stuff. So let's click on all and go to the all Kipi in the demo account. So far, there is only one Kipi named my Kipi. It's always there. And I'll show you how to create uh, your own uh, new Kipi. Let's go to the new Kipi and enter the Kipi name. Suppose you're working on a topic, uh, a US budget deficit. And then you click create Kipi. So a new Kipi has been created. So far it is empty. I will show you how to get information and place into your new Kipi. Let's go to a Google search. So you're doing search for US budget deficit. And suppose you found some information that you want to capture. Let's look at this uh, article. Uh, Obama to propose changes to Medicare and Social Security. So first of all, you want to capture the uh, headline. This one, you highlight the text, then right mouse click, select Kipi, and then you have to select where you're capturing to. It's capture to, click on the down arrow, and select US budget deficit. So you will be capturing all information into your Kipi named US budget deficit. Then click on clip selection. The text that you just highlighted has been captured. Let's go to the body of the article and do same thing. Highlight the text you want to capture. Do right mouse click, select Kipi. You no longer need to reselect US budget deficit because it's already there. It remembers your selection. Click on the clip selection option. And another portion has been captured. So you keep going. So you find some more stuff you want to capture. Let's say this article and you want to capture uh, some information. Right mouse click, Kipi, clip selection. So you keep going. So it's another article that you want to capture. So you're highlighting the text. Right mouse click, Kipi. Clip selection. Now suppose you want to add a picture and you go back to the search and do Google image search. You go through all images and you find something that you want to add to your document. Say suppose it's this, docu this image that you want to add. So you place mouse over the image, do right mouse click, select Kipi and select clip picture. So the picture has been copied to your Kipi stuff. So let's uh, take a look what we captured so far. Again, right mouse click, select Kipi, and you can select edit Kipi. And it will open the Kipi editor and you can see that your Kipi is no longer empty. It has some uh, information wherever you captured so far. And now you want to edit your snippets. Let's start with the first one. So our click on the snippet, you will see it highlight is highlighted on the left side. And the right column gives you uh, buttons and links for the operation. So you want to click on edit and you start editing uh, the first snippet. So you want to make it larger, say huge and you want to change the color of the text, let's say dark blue. And you click on the X button, which closes the edit mode. 
then uh, perhaps you want to change the order of your snippets. Let's go down to the image and you want to move it to the very top. You click on the image, make sure it's highlighted on the left. Then uh, on the right side, you will enter, um, you will select move and you will get several links where it shows destination for the move. Let's choose the first one, move here. Now you will see that your image jumped to the location where you just selected. So this is pretty much uh, a document that is ready. You can take a look how it will be viewed by readers. Go to Kipi details and there is a link of your new Kipi. Click on the link. So and you will see how our readers will view your uh, document. And notice that you have automatic uh, references at the bottom, which shows uh, all your uh, source pages you took the information from. And each snippet has a number on the left side. And that number is linked to the source. Now, suppose you want to make that Kipi public on the Kipi wall. You click on the Kipi button. Now you have to select at least one category. Let's select News and Politics and say Make Public. Now we can go back to the Kipi wall and check if uh, we have that uh, new Kipi available on the Kipi wall. So again, this is the Kipi front page. Let's go to the menu, click on My Kipis, then select All. And you will see that the Kipi is uh, available here. And th this is your stuff, so that includes your private Kipi. Let's check if uh, people from uh, outside users have access to that document. So click on Everything, then click on All. And you will see your new Kipi on the first position you just created. So it's been published to the wall. If you want to publish it to, say, Facebook, click on the Facebook button. And then click on Share. So the document will be shared to your Facebook account. This is the basic functionality of the Kipi. If uh, you're done playing with the demo account, you can... Um, Click on Logout, so go to upper right corner, select Demo, then uh, select Logout. And now you will see again the Kipi front page. Uh, you're very welcome to uh, sign up for your own account. So go ahead and uh, enter your name, password. Uh, you need to confirm your password, your, add your email, and click on Sign Up. And that how you basically get your own uh, Kipi account. You also have an option signing up with Facebook. It's just uh, one click signing up and it will create your own account under the same login name as you use for your Facebook. This concludes our uh, video tutorial. Thank you very much. And you're very welcome as a new user to Kipi. Thank you.